It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Tennessee Titans. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. It's the building that was open the year the franchise became known as the Titans. Welcome to Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt on the call in this one. Brock, a couple of running backs down on the field. You can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their belt tail in that groove. And get them going, find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yards run after run and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, whichever offense could get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. Ready to get this game started. Here's John Parker Romo. And away we go from Nashville. On the return, here comes Tajay Spears. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So the Titans ready for their opening drive of the game. And leading him out is their second-year quarterback from Kentucky. He earned several starts as a rookie. It's Will Levis. Levis came into this league with a big old arm and an even bigger chip on his shoulder, Kate based on where he was drafted. I still remember that on draft day, and you could see the disappointment as he fell out of that first round, and because of it, he's just got that fight to him. It's easy to envision him proving those doubters and so many of those teams who passed on him wrong. Now start this one on the ground with Pollard. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. about a second and short run play, Kate? Yeah, I like getting a first down, but you know what I like even more? That's going to set up a play-action pass in a similar down and distance, and that defense is going to have to key on the run. Levis now on first down. He finds Tigger Cockwell for the grab. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. He goes as a gain of 19 yards. And the Titans will have a first down. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. New set of downs for him from the 46. First and 10, it's Pollard. And he's swallowed up in the middle, no gain on the run. Jonathan Bullard with the stop. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Now a toss, it's Pollard. And he breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. Stuffed at the line a second time, and now it'll be third and ten. I don't mind that call on the early downs. Give that defense something to think about. You got the inside run between the tackles, and whether it's jet sweeps or a little swing pass, or in that case, a toss, make sure you threaten to the outside. Throwing his Levis on third down. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. The Titans sending out Ryan Stonehouse now on fourth down to in turn and send a punt away. And that's out. We're just waiting for the spots. They're going to say clear the sideline over top the 14. 
Well, here come the Vikings, taking the field for their first drive of the game. And we're going to look at their signal caller playing in his seventh season. Sam Darnold's seen an awful lot in his career. Now he's hoping the fourth time is an actual charm. After being a first-round pick, it seems like eons ago for the New York Jets, the guy's experienced a ton of football. And I'll say this, he went into one of the great QB incubators there with Kyle Shanahan in San Francisco. And now we'll all get a chance to see how much he really did learn, how much he really did grow. He is still young in his career. And with the supporting cast in Minnesota, a pretty dynamic receiver on the outside. He's got some nice tools to work with. And the defense was all over that throw. Able to stop it right at the line. They could smell that one coming, and they sniffed it out in a hurry. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Darnold has his man. It's Addison. And he'll have it up to about the 23-yard line on the play. Third down, one yard to go. Now he'll give up the middle to Jones. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes them back quite a ways. Penalty not helping their cause for this third down. Donald looking to throw. He's on the move. Oh, he's going to run for it. He'll get this up to the 18-yard line. Well, this is in every quarterback's tool belt. Even the ones not regarded as the best movers and shakers. But, Kate, to play QB in the league today, you've got to be able to do this. If you've got nobody open, still get some positive yards with your legs. Now we'll see Ryan Wright come on for the Vikings to punt this away on four. And he'll take in the fair catch just above the 35. No return on that punt. And the Titans will get set to take over. So Tennessee headed out for its second drive of the game. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. Good starting field position for the Titans. They've got it first and 10. Trying the inside handoff to Pollard. And they're on him after about a two-yard game. That's Harrison Phillips there for the stop. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. On the play fake, it's Levis. That's going to be caught, Tony Pollard. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. Levis here on first down. Oconco brings it in. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Ivan Pace able to make the stop. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. They get to Pollard from the gun. And he's tackled with the first down yard in. You know, okay, these are not the plays that are like bold in the stat sheet when you look back on it. But these are the kind of gains by the running back that keep the offense on schedule and move the chains. Here's first and ten from the 34. From the gun, Levis. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. 
And with how hard it is, Kate, to get these plays down the field, you can't let the coverage off the hook with a drop. Just can't happen. And you're going to see it right here. He saw the open space ahead of him and started running before he ever brought the ball fully in. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing is Levis. Into the hands of Okonkwo. Now hang on. Looks like somebody came out after that play. A little shaken up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. Titans getting their first red zone snap to this game. They've got first and 10 from the 20. End up running left, Pollard. And he doesn't get this one very far. Down to only about the 18. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. They motion the tight end over. Shotgun now for Levis. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Levis to the air now. Shakes and the Vikings rush brings him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. That right there is one of the biggest differences between the NFL and college game. Heck, the high school and Pop Warner game. Because when you break away from a sack at those lower levels, big things happen. But at this level, this big boy league, just because you get out of one guy's arms doesn't mean you're safe anytime soon. So the Titans left with a fourth down, and we're going to see Nick Folk after the try. It's from the right hash, 46 yards. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that will get them on the board. A defensive kicker, man, that is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and get it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. It's Brandon Powell with the return. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. Now for the second time this game, we get a look at this Vikings offense. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game.
Here's Donald to throw. Good place beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. Throwing here, Darnold. Fits it through the middle. And they bring him down around the 34. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play. And keep driving that defense backwards. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. Hutkinson wheels it in. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on it. And then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat. Throw it right through your target's chest. This one, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. From the 29. Locates Jefferson along the sideline. Complete. And he takes this one nearly to the red zone before going out. They get six and a first down as well. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They are now set for a first and ten. Throwing it again here. We'll get this to Jefferson. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. Kate, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them can throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts, but throwing that out route takes some time, takes some precision, and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. Second down carry for Jones. And he doesn't find open space. He only finds a defender who makes the stop. They'll need four to convert now after no gain on second down. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. Third down from the gun. And that one is dropped. Such great work to get all by himself. But he can't haul in the gimme, and that deep shot is missed. Wow. He was looking for TJ Hawkinson. And fourth and four coming up. You know, quarterback's going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws will find a drop at some point, too. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And we're all tied up now in the first half. Well, nothing to critique there. Good snap, good hold, and he puts it through to pay off the drive with three points. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Levis now off the play fake. And he's always at it worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Harrison Smith in on the stop. Call it feel, Kate. Call it instincts. I don't really care what you call it, but the best QBs, they can sense it. They know when that pressure's coming, and they know how to avoid it. Keep that play alive. Extend it outside of the chaos and go get your offense a completion. They give on second to Pollard. 
And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run, but he said, uh-uh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and ten. At the end of one, a field goal for each side, but no one has found the end zone just yet. Both teams neck and neck so far. More from Nissan Stadium coming up after the break. We're ready to go with the second quarter, and it's Titans football. They've got a first to begin the frame. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands, but he dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. The middle, here goes Pollard. Crosses midfield, still going. He takes this into enemy territory to the 48 yard line. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. To play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice once to find the lane of field and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. Going to the ground again on first. And they had that one contained right at the line. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. <laughs> Levis from the shotgun. That throw finds Okonkwo. Decent game here, but short of the first. Well, that right there, Kate, that is the epitome of trust. And trust in your big physical tight end. Throwing his way into double coverage. You may question the decision when the ball leaves his hands, but it's tough to question when it produces results like that. Looking to throw on third and one. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll pick up enough to move the chain. They say a dog is a man's best friend. A tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. First down, ball at the 36. Defense showing blitz, Levis. That's brought in by Calvin Woodley. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And the Titans will have a first down. I love throwing a first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. On the ground, Pollard. And they bring him to a stop with this run. Gets him into the red zone, down to the 15. Pick up of eight on the run. And that sets up second and two. Levis. Finds the in route complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Levis setting the throw. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Spears trying this straight ahead. And he won't challenge for the goal line. The stop made at the four. Three yards on the run. It's going to be third and goal where you get a little bit closer, but you can feel the pressure starting to mount. Unless you're committed to playing four downs here, 
this becomes a critical third down call. Now Levis on third and goal. He just throws this one away. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. So the Titans left with a fourth down, and we're going to see Nick Folk after the try. This just 21 yards down the pipe. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give them the lead. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Powell now to return. This return makes it up to the 25. The Minnesota offense ready to set up shop again. And they brought out their kicker for a field goal, their last possession. This time they'll look to bring him out for an extra point instead. Ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They motion a receiver left. First and ten, here's Jones. He's pushed straight ahead, and that's maybe a yard at most. That was Harold Landry making the tackle. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Jones wants more. He's contained at the line for no gain. That was Gerald Landry making the tackle. No gain here after a gain of only one, and now they'll face third and nine. To throw, here's Donald. Escapes the pocket. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. And the defense comes through, and that's going to back them up and bring up fourth down. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down, and he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. Just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, i got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. Ryan Wright on the punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. First punt win 45 yards. This looks considerably further. And he makes the fair catch inside the 45. The Titans and Tony Pollard headed back out there offensively. And they settled for a chip shot field goal last time, Brock. you got to think they want to be able to finish it off and reach the end zone here. Good starting field position for the Titans. They've got it. First and ten. On the give. This is Pollard. He sneaks this through the middle. Maybe a gain of two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Again, a run with Pollard. And he gets this one to the 49 on a solid pickup. Give him four on that run. That's going to bring up third and five.
Looking to throw Levis. Completed to Pollard. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35 yard line. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. They're set up at the 35 now. Throwing now on first down, Levitz. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. So second down coming up. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. To throw again on second down, Levis. That was incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open, it beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. Last pass unsuccessful and they have third down here. Levis throwing again. Has the connection to Ridley. And that will not be enough for a first down. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that'll double their lead to six. So many of these players on the field, Kate, they just strive for consistency, but not the kickers. They strive for perfection, and so far, he's just that. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Ty Chandler to return. He stopped on the return of the 27. Now the Minnesota offense trotting out. He's got a gain of six there. Arden 
key there for the stop. Vikings out of the hurry up, need everyone back to the line. Second and four. Buys time, rolling right. This time they're going to get there, and they drop it. And that pushes them back, third down, coming up. I think they like to say in baseball, clear the mechanism, and that's what you got to do. You've got to let that play go and simply move on to the next. Hey, listen, where is the game where pass protection ever is going to win 100% of the time? So move on to the next one. Here he is on third and long. So many of these games in the NFL where they come down to a play or two and third down. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hands, the coach wants to see them convert those. Out again comes Ryan Wright for another punt. Jaquan Jackson deep for the Titans. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. He feels this at the 18. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The Titans and this running back headed back out for a new series. They're out and set, first and ten. They send the tight end in motion. On the move, hit it right. Now he takes it. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Well, I think he was looking for that running lane and that running room from the very start right there, partner. Even as he worked through his progression initially, he was waiting for space to open, and then he takes advantage with his legs. Only took him one play, partner, and they've already made it to that 40-yard line. Levis now on first down. That pass complete to Boyd. And he's able to move past the 45 before going out. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Shotgun now for Levis. Caught by Pollard. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Now we get a timeout taken by the Titans. That's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. And the Vikings add an extra defensive back for this third down. From the gun, Levis. Boyd hauls it in. And he's able to cross midfield before going out. He gets six on that play. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Throwing is Levis. Taken in by Pollard. And this is marked down right along that 40 yard line. Tennessee calling its second timeout now. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. In a good spot here, second and inches. Levis from the shotgun. Just couldn't make it happen. Now it's third down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Still inches to go on third down. Throwing now from the gun. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. 
This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. Now this one, not much of a chance of it staying in the field of play. They'll mark it out at the 13-yard line. Drive of the half is it going to be long? 14 seconds remaining. Yep, as expected, they're going to go down and stop this one off. He's forward, gets a couple of yards. That was Harold Landry making the tackle. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. It's halftime here in Nashville. The Titans giving the fans something to cheer about. They're in front at the break. Now it's down to Florida, where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break, because we're happy to welcome you all back to the start of our third quarter. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Powell now to return. And this drive will start inside the 25. Here's the Minnesota offense headed out to start this third quarter. And their defense sure has kept this game close. Now it's time for them to come through, get some points for their team in this low-scoring affair. start out with a first and ten. Throwing now off play action. Chased out to his right. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. That's now the third sack of the game. And I know how these defenders start to think. How many more can I tally up before this one's over? Still a bunch of game time. In this defense, well, they're feeling it. Second down. Now we'll give to Jones. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was fooled for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. to approach here from the 40. Receiver in motion, headed right. First down, and they go right back to it. And he's going to work his way almost to midfield. That stopped at the 48. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Minnesota lined up in front formation. 
Ryan Wright's the one to send it away. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. That one, an impressive 57-yard kick. And they're going to take over possession. We'll get another look at this Tennessee offense. And it has been all about these defenses so far, Brock. Even into the second half, we're still waiting for one of these offenses to take charge. You know, what you're feeling, these defenses are making every yard tough, every first down tough, every series tough. And offensively, yeah, it's time to toughen up and maybe more importantly, sharpen up. Now start this one on the ground with Pollard. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Right back to Pollard. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Third and a lone yard coming up. It's not a long walk to the new spot, but it is a disappointing one to make. Instead of third down, they're now defending first and ten. First and ten for him now, following the penalty. Running it after the penalty. Escapes a defender. And he'll get this through the midfield strike and starts pushing into Vikings territory. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. They give to Pollard on the option. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. That's a pickup of nine. And the Titans will have a first down. They had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. New slate of downs to approach here from the 40. Levis here on first down. That throw finds Okokwo. And they take him down right along the 30. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. They picked up a good chunk. And there was nearly room to add even more. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Into the hands of Okonkwo. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. He saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at him. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them and the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. The drive picks up here, first and ten. They send a man in motion. First down from the red zone. Pass caught by Ridley. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Now that is a potential drive killer. Defenders all over that one. It kept him from getting vertical after the catch. Back to the line they go. It's second down. He'll throw it yet again. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups, and when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. 
Titans keeping their offense on the field. Love it. They're trying for two. They want to run it across. Ooh, and he can't shake the defense. They track him down in the backfield, and this two-point attempt fails. Well, I know we normally look for where the breakdown occurred here, partner, but I think he just made a really good play defensively to get back there. Yeah, you're not just thinking. He absolutely did it. That defender was reacting. Go shoot your shot. And that is teaching tape for that. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Chandler now on the return. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Vikings now set to take the field. And as much as we thought we'd be watching highlights here, talking about this passing game, Brock, it's been the guys on the other side of the ball who come in and stolen that spotlight. Yeah, and in an offensive-driven league, and one that sometimes even legislated that way, it's nice and refreshing <laughs> to see a defense put together an effort like this. Amen. Be the ones everybody's talking about for how well they played on their side of the ball. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Starting the drive with a give to Jones. And finally, they bring him down. He shook off a couple of defenders there on a nice pickup. First down play, that's in five. It's going to be second and five. Again. 
Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. From the gun, they go with Pollard. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. Hey, Kate, you want to know how crazy your partner is next to you? <laughs> I would love to take a fan right out of these stands and put them there on that play just so they could feel what a five-yard run feels like because it may not look like anything on the statue but i promise you if the average person felt the pain of what a five-yard game was they'd have a whole new perspective no gain on the play and it leaves them with third and five Completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. Here comes the Titans punting unit. Ryan Stonehouse will kick it away. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. We don't get a return out of that punt. And it's going to be Vikings football. Starts out with a first and ten. To throw. Here's Darnold. Looking slant round complete. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. Second and three now. Motion man right is Jefferson. Takes the handoff, now to throw. He's mopping over something here, just chucks it away. That was simply a case of not enough time available to let that play develop. That throw was out so quick, and he wasn't able to reel it in. So after that prior incompletion, we got third down. Throwing here, Darnold. And this is another incompletion. Trying to find Justin Jefferson. And that will bring up fourth and three. You know, it's fascinating how those routes you run so many times in practice become a whole lot more difficult in the actual game. That was an important third and short to convert. Very surprised to see that play fail. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kicks away. And he's hit before he can get anything on that return. The home teams returning their offense and this running back to the field. They didn't add to their lead last time out, so they punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Ball at the 33 for first down. Slot receiver headed left. Levis now on first down. Has the connection to Ridley. And he's tackled for a short game. How's your block shedding out there, boys? Because they need to get through some blocks to hang that screen up quickly. And they were Johnny on the spot. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Shotgun now for Levis. He'll get this complete to Westbrook Akine. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Kate, one thing I learned from the late great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called Air Raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. On third down, Collar. And he'll get it up to the 44. One yard gain on the play. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. 
That is some old school brutality. An offense close to a first down, a defense that knows there's a run headed right its way. In a battle of wills, the offense gets it done. Going to the ground again on first. And he's brought down for a loss. So we're through three here. This one not out of reach quite yet, but it is a two-score game to begin the fourth. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. On the gun, Levis. Oconco brings it in. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. An excellent gain. 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. Wow, certainly found the weak spot in the coverage with that catch. Really goes to show they trust every single player, receiver, running back, in that case, tight end, to be a playmaker in this offense. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. On the play fake, it's Levis. Completed to Pollard. I don't think he's going to get much, if any, as he heads out of bounds right near the line. You know, I, I've learned over the years, defensively, they call that the camera club. How many different guys can you get rallying to the football? So that last shot you see on camera, you see as many defenders keeping that to a zero-yard gain. That's well done defensively. Second and ten now. Short pass caught by his tight end. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Levis throwing again. He's got a man left. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set down. This defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. Man, did he make an impact play. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Levis from the shotgun. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Trying the inside hand off to Pollard. And they make the play at the 23. A gain of only a little. Even three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. Levis to the air now. That pass complete to Boyd. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Awareness. You've got to be aware. Play caller, quarterback, receiver have to be aware of where the sticks are. They're not just not enough, not deep enough to extend the drive and move the chains. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. They'll go. It's Pollard. And the hit stops him cold. Wow, he maybe got back to the line. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on down. Certainly looking for that nail in the coffin, the knockout punch, a touchdown, and three-possession lead that could put this one out of reach. Hey, it's a luxury they could afford to take in that spot. Built themselves up a little buffer here, Kate. But it's never over until it's over. The Vikings offense back to the field now. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. They're out 
and set. First and ten. Running back sends in motion. Into the hands of Jefferson. Complete. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. That's an 11 yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Play action on first down. He'll get this to Jefferson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. And in motion, out of the slot. They go play action on first. Fits it through the middle. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. They strike for 23 yards. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Working inside the red zone. Connects with his back, Aaron Jones. And he's able to get this down to the 13. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now Darnold. He's got it. And that play is brought to a halt. They're going to say at the five-yard line. A nice gain of eight there, and it brings them to first and goal. Here's Darnold. That one's incomplete in the end zone. Took his shot at six that time. So now it'll be second and goal. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Or well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. Throwing now, off play action. No place to go, so he just threw it away. It's a very quick trigger, and the hurry throw was much tougher to complete. He may have rushed that one, thinking the pressure was just about to get to him in the pocket. Buckle up. It's third and goal. Donald has it in close. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? Here's Jones. And he's in for the touchdown. The Vikings now within one score in the fourth. It's an Aaron Jones touchdown. So, Brock, they take a gamble, and it pays off with a big touchdown on fourth and goal. And they do it on the ground as well, and that just speaks volumes. That's confidence that you can own this line of scrimmage, and your back will see a lane and will get the job done. That just infuses your team and your sidelines with so much confidence. John Parker Romo out to try the point after. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Vikings trim the deficit down to five.
So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. On the return, here comes Spears. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The home teams, and Will Levin is set to take over again. drive will start out with a first and ten. They've got a man in motion. Levis here on first down. Now to his wide out, it's a screen. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Second and three now. Levis now off the play fake. Slated downs to approach here from the 40. Throwing now on first down, Levis. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Up to the line, and they're set. First and 10. Complete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley. So that brings up second down. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Levis throw it again on second down. He's trying to push the field. Coaches just love that effort right there. Instantly, as he made the pick, everybody was looking for a block and doing their part to set up the return. And I know it pales in comparison to giving up the turnover, but how about the effort on the other side to track him down and stop a potential pick six? I think everybody deserves a little credit on the field for that effort. The Vikings taking the field on offense. And after watching their passing attack take them the length of the field last drive, Brock, I expect we're probably going to see a heavy dose of the aerial attack again here. So good field position to start with for the Vikings this drive. First and ten. Darnold looking to throw. It's caught in stride by Addison. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now he'll give up the middle to Jones. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. They'll come up first and ten. Darnold now the throw. Completed over the middle. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Second and five. 
Trying to throw here out of the gun. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning left for them. We've got first and ten. To throw. Here's Darnold. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's brought down after a short game. That's the two-minute warning here in Nashville. Vikings trailing by five. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Here's Darnold to throw. Hutkinson reels it in. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Here he is to throw. Jefferson brings it in on the slant. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Out of the gun and give to Jones. And the defense is all one for a big loss. Minnesota spends its second time out here. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call is going to be on third down. such a good job and not just hitting him in a window on that slant in the right window but hitting him right in time right in a spot where he had room to run and add on to that catch gotta think this is four down territory Brock as they come up here first and goal throwing now and that's a touchdown the catch is made and they lead just before the end of this game So what a finish this is shaping up to be. The late touchdown here, Brock, moves them in front. And week to week, what a pleasure it is for us to call these games. We never know yeah. what kind of game we're going to get. This one's been everything you could have wanted. And now, even though they've taken the lead, there's still enough time on that other sideline for them to go mount a response. Slot man motioned over. Well, you told me this before, Brock. That decision, all about the math right there. Two-point lead doesn't do them much good. They wanted the field goal difference, but instead, lead stays at one. Yeah, it's about math, and it's about time, because we're in the final frame of this game. Unless we go to overtime, and I don't think you and I would mind that too much. <laughs> nope. Now it's all about getting a stop here, and their defense has no margin for error. Got to keep them out of field goal range now. Here's Romo to handle the kickoff. On the return, here comes Spears. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Titans ready to take over on offense. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here.
They'll get this drive started. First and ten. To throw. This one finds Boyle. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Now we get a timeout taken by the Titans. That's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. In quite the time crunch here, Brock, but still two timeouts to Bird. It's first down. Now to throw. Has the connection to Ridley. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Tennessee calling its second timeout now. Still one more in their pocket to use. Second and six coming up here. He'll look to throw it. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. The Titans call their third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Time not on their side here as they get set for first down. No timeouts remaining either. Here he is to throw. That one is incomplete. The clock now down to 16 seconds remaining. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Bleeding over from that last play. He's forced to get rid of this one. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Setting up to pass. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And that is incomplete. Eight seconds left now. Drive getting it to Calvin Ridley. And now they're staring at fourth and long. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? Well, they chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. This is for the ball game. The Vikings pick up the win on the road. And it's going to be remembered quite a bit for the defensive effort right there at the end to steal away the last bits of hope from the opposing sideline with that interception, Brock, and officially end this game.